This morning, I noticed a security warning from Windows Security, and mainly my device security is in question. A little explanation. I've been a Microsoft Insider for many years, and this particular computer started out as Windows 10, and I was a Windows Insider on Windows 10. Then about seven or eight months ago, I received mysteriously and unexpectedly an upgrade to Windows 11, even though this particular computer doesn't meet the requirements. It doesn't have a TPM2 chip. It doesn't have an 8th generation or newer processor, which is needed in order to run Windows 11. However, Microsoft, for some reason, thought that I would probably enjoy Windows 11 on this computer, even though it's not capable of running it. Now, I've not had any problems. The computer has run Windows 11 flawlessly, so apparently something in the latest Inside a Build update now checks on the TPM chip, because if we look at the settings themselves and we look under security processor, it plainly states that this is a TPM 1.2. It needs to be TPM 2 chip, and it says it's not supported. There is no way for me to solve this problem unless I wanted to go install a TPM 2 chip, which I'm not going to be doing. So the only thing that I can do at this point is dismiss this warning. I'm aware of it. I don't know what else will happen. I don't know whether eventually I'll be forced to go back to Windows 10. At this moment, the only thing I'm going to do is, since I know what the problem is, I'll dismiss this. There'll be a warning and I'll have to say, yes, I agree. Okay, and that takes care of it. I no longer have a warning in Windows security that shows. So everything is protected. If you're running a Windows computer that doesn't support Windows 11, once you get to this stage, and I'm currently on Windows 11 22H2, build 23403.1001. You will get a warning to let you know your system is not supported. It's still running fine. It runs Windows 11 without a problem, except I don't have that protection enabled, and I never will have unless I physically install the TPM2 chip. That still leaves me with a processor that's not capable of running Windows 11, according to Microsoft. Stay safe, stay secure. I hope this answers your question if you're greeted with this same warning. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching.